Thank you for tuning in to Awesome Office Tutorials. Today we're going to go over three trigonomic functions that are buried in Excel. As you can see, they are the tangent, the inverse sine, and the cosine. First, we'll verify the answers are correct using a Texas Instruments calculator. Then, we'll put the appropriate formula into Excel, and we'll get Excel to give us the same answer. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with the tangent and we'll find out the tangent of 30. So we close the parentheses here. Okay, and here's our answer. Okay, so let's go ahead and find out what the tangent of 30 is. Now here's the formula that you'll need to use. It's equals tan, and then in parentheses, radians, and then in parentheses again, your number. In this case, we'll reference the number in cell B2. Close both parentheses and there it is. Okay, next we'll check out inverse sine. So let's press second and then sine. That'll give us the inverse sine. And we'll check out the inverse sine of 0.6. And here's our answer. Okay, so this one's a bit more complicated. Certainly not impossible though. So let's check out the inverse sine of 0.6. To do that, we'll use degrees, and then a sin, and then radians, and then degrees again. And we're going to look up 0.6, which in this case is in cell B3. And we'll close our four parentheses. And there's the answer. Again, same as in the calculator. And finally, we'll check out cosine. Let's check out the cosine here of the number 20. Press equals. There it is. So let's go on over into Excel and see what we can come up with. And we want to check out the number 20. And to do that, we'll do COS radians and the numbers in cell B4. Close the parentheses and there you have it. That's how you do the top three most common trigonomic functions in Excel. Tune in for more awesome office tutorials. See you next time.